wife threw up. What? After the fourth. Hold the fuck up. <laughs> Did this nigga just say dirty, rotten box? It's not fair, but dudes have more time because of, you know, especially we got Viagra, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, we have. So we got medication. I don't think, but see, our, the our thing is, is I, don't, I don't think and, that you do. I don't think that guys do have more time. Well, well let me explain why we do. Okay. The okay. reason why we have more time also, too, is because, again, the things that a woman finds attractive about a dude is more attracted to him the older that he gets because he has more financial gain, he has more success, mm -hmm. he has more leadership underneath his belt, mm -hmm. he's less indecisive. I yep. mean, just like you were saying, you become more of a man the older that they get. You said right. between 28 and 35. Absolutely. So, you know, so he has a lot of time to figure all that out. And then, and then he can become a, a 49 year old Diddy and go back and get a 23 year old Lori Harvey. Well, on that note, see, you, you actually segued into exactly the point that I was going to make because, in fact, this is why young or men who are entering into that range, if you just go according to your social circle, okay, let's say that you don't leave the town that you grew up in and you're, you're still really in the same pool as your peers, the people who were a few years older, a few years younger than you. Mm -hmm. Well, what's happening is that that lady who actually does value herself mm -hmm. and who wants to be with someone is content with dating someone that's older. So what ends up happening is all of these quality women are into dating older men. And so that's why you have this circumstance and it's it's kind of like natural the way things happen. Women mature before men do. But at the same time, there's a point, there's a time period when you're doing the same thing because of our culture, because of our American culture. You mm -hmm. know, college, high school, you expect people to behave this way and, and so on and so on. But um, in fact, I don't, I, I think that that mentality that you have a lot of time is a waste of time because, it, I mean, yes, you get better when you get older, sure. But if you aspire to be a better person, to be a better man, and you meet a woman who is also on that path and you're young people, uh, I think that if you're mature enough and you're wise enough, you can see the value in that person. You can build something because from, from what I've seen, uh, with people who were young couples, like people who have been together since they were high school, they generally have much more stable lives. They don't have children out of wedlock, and that whole uh, that whole epidemic uh, that we that we're living in is really damaging, and it makes it very challenging to actually get into that relationship, that long term relationship that you would prefer. Let me ask you a quick question, okay. uh, and then we'll get back into the video. This is one thing that when you were describing that, that you said, um, in order to become a better man, do, in, and this is something I struggle with, um, in understanding that some people's definition of a better man means that they can find one woman. And I struggle with that because I know that my life has been relatively um, above average happy throughout the entire time 34 years old right now and i haven't been in a relationship in 10 to 15 years mm -hmm. so so you know when i hear like better man and then finding one but then i'm also like but i'm still happy right now and i'm still not convinced that marriage if you look at the construct behind marriage uh, and what it can take away from a man who's financially independent secure in his own right is his own leader you know, ha owns his own stuff, is not looking to a woman for anything else besides perhaps companionship and the cookie, right? Until you get into a marriage and let's say something goes wrong and it's a divorce and then she takes half your income if you made more money. And then you might have to pay for her until she gets remarried or if there's children involved, what have you. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is, is that there's, there's a synonymous tone in our culture of better man or more mature man means he can find the right woman. Do you agree with that prescription or like, or what are your thoughts on that? Okay, so when I, when I say better, 
um, betters something that happens within you. Mm. That's something because in order for you to be where you are and to grow, growth happens within you. It doesn't have anything to do with anything on the outside. It doesn't work that way in nature. It doesn't work that way emotionally or, or in any fashion like that. It happens within you. So when I say a better man, that means that you are aspiring to be great because we're not, we're not perfect. But if you always are looking up and onward, you're always trying to be better. Mm -hmm. And that's respectable, that's commendable, and that, and, and that uh, warrants forgiveness and love, and that's what it deserves. Now, as far as um, you know, finding one person, I think that you, when it comes to marriage, I've never been married before, but I, the way that I see it, the way that I aspire to be married, your marriage should be an asset. It should never be something that's, that takes away or stops you. It should be something, it should be a collaboration that builds, like that, ex, you know, it, it becomes something. It's mm -hmm. a chemistry, right? But it should be, it should be something that's, that's functional. It should be, um, it should be the greatest person in, in your life and I mean there's no real way to know that because even still that person is going to come with flaws but I think when you meet someone that makes you want to be yourself all the time it makes you feel good about being yourself like I saw a meme that said um you know imagine being in love the way that you love so you don't have to make adjustments and it's like you could just be yourself and this person encourages you to be your, be yourself encourages you to be a better person um but i think in order for you to find it you have to be open to finding it and i'm just gonna leave it at that because right. i think it's just it's really personal that's that's something that you really have to kind of like reflect on and you have to so you know, so so my reflection might be i might want to be a better hugh hefner whatever that is you know and Hugh Hefner, uh, Hugh Hefner was a happy motherfucker. Happy as shit. Shit. Happy as shit. He don't get married too, by the way. Um, a couple times. You know, well, he's he was dating he's a, triplets. He's a multi multi millionaire. Yeah, was. Sexy triplets. You seen Dan Blazarian? You familiar with him? Who? Never mind. No. All right, let's get back in the video. Get you a drink after her too. So now at thirty six, she plans to retire. Now the simp will call this act maturity. But thinking man, we know that this is the wall here. This is her last opportunity to find someone to nest with, to find someone to raise offspring with. And sometimes, or I should say many times, to raise the offspring that she has with other males at this time. Now the guy who deals with this self-damaged female after this age or at this age is her thought retirement plan oh wait you say it's not you really you're not her thought retirement plan hmm well here are a few signs that will indicate that you are the retirement plan for the thought a few signs that we know it's you signs that we can know that you rescued her from the carousel. Number one, got kids? If she answers in the affirmative, if she has Thuggo's babies, then you are her retirement plan. If she's over 30, then yes, Bubba, odds are you are her retirement plan. Did she used to date Thuggo in them? If the answer is yes, then you are. The retirement plan is her body count over three. Then, oh, yes, you are the retirement plan. If you are looking at her pictures from when she was in high school and you cannot recognize her, then you are the retirement plan. If she makes you wait and demands a date before you bunker bus, shout out to Solo TV 84. But she did not require that of the past 44 gentlemen that she has dealt with. Then chances are, oh yes, you just may be her retirement plan. Number seven, if she demands marriage, 
something that she didn't demand of any other guy to get to the dirty, rotten box. Now you write her up. What? After the fourth. Hold the fuck up. <laughs> Did this nigga just say dirty, rotten box? You didn't like that, did you? What the fuck? Dirty, rotten box? She demands marriage to get to her dirty, rotten box. Bro. Bro. And you're saying that they got a dirty, rotten box if they've had sex with more than three men between high school and 36? So you think it's unrealistic standards that, that, that they're putting yeah. on? Yeah, this, this particular thing. Look, I agree with some of the things that he's saying, but he he's because I It's too extreme. It's too extreme. I feel like you were insulting a lot of people. I get it that like there I think the the thought retirement plan is the chick that gets pregnant on purpose. That's what I thought he was gonna talk that's about. That's what I thought that's where I thought he was going. But, and he but, totally lost me because I thought I was gonna like agree with him on I, that's some what of the I, things, but Yeah, but he's saying essentially after her market value Right, like, like after she gets older, after she has a certain amount of bodies, after she requires stuff from you that she didn't require from anyone else. Um, I don't, you know, it, what it is is that we're using words here that places the blame on a gender. Right, like, 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 so the thought that already assumes that she's a smut, right? And retirement plan, right? It assumes that she's using you for something. Right. And it could just be someone's just living life and trying to figure it out and just ha doesn't have the mentorship, doesn't have the guidance, doesn't have the structure, the family structural, you know, in order to understand her situations and learn mm -hmm. and grow from it. I, you know, I, when I see videos like this on the internet, you know, it's, it's like you always have to, just back to the Derek Jackson one, you always have to critically think about the w information that's presented to you. Right. You have to think about it in a way um, where you're not finger point. Like if you find yourself completely blaming a gender, a race, a nationality, uh, it just complete for in assigning that definition to all, mm -hmm. you're being what's called intellectually lazy. I get it. You know. Some of them do do this. Some, yeah, some of them, and I talk about it on my channel, like, and I've had it happen to me. Like, I've had it happen to me where, um, I, like, I'll be, like, dating, and I use that word very loosely because it's not dating. It's just me meeting them and them coming over, right? But, like, like, and, and, and within that, it is, um, she, what, what she's requiring of me and telling me that she wants from me um, and what she's not giving to me, I know for damn sure she gave it to many others before without the same requirements, right? So like, I get that, I get that. I get, so in that, but I wouldn't know, I don't wanna know if I would describe her as a thought or them as thought, like, right. I, I don't know. Like, because I feel like a thought, like I said, I, by my definition, a thought uses herself. A thought is not going to be required, trying to say like, well, we should go on a date before we, what did he say, bunker bash? We should go on a date before we bunker bash. I don't think that's what a thought does. I think what a thought does is that she'll like come up to your job and do some crazy weird shit to try to get your attention and try to, uh, you know, cock block and do manipulation and, and all this other stuff. I think that some of this, like what he's saying about like requiring marriage and requiring to go on a date, like, hold up, dude, that's, those are like respectable notions. And it, from what he's describing, it sounds like this whole retirement plan is a woman that like had a had a bad past and now she's trying to change with you which actually should be an, a compliment to you right that's why like in your situation you said the girl was like yeah 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 it's because she respects you enough that you seem like you are uh you know a, a respectable man that she wants, to, that she wants to nest with it's like so you want her to treat you like uh -huh. you, you know, I as think, well, I don't I'm a I, little confused I, on that. I think it's a good point. I think like in that situation that I'm thinking of, it's it's like, yeah, like, cool, I'm good enough to be picked. But if you plan to do this retirement plan with me, 
just like, if, and if I didn't have the information that I did of like what happened before me, I might have been tricked. I might have been tricked. And, and I'm getting something where I think the market value is here and the market value is actually here or here. You see what I'm trying to say? So it's like she's putting requirements on me because she's found a suitor. But meanwhile, she hadn't put the requirements from all them one night stands that she might have had before or a situation that she might have had before. That but, but I still have to say, real, real quick point. I don't know if I'd still describe it as a thought. Like, I thought he was gonna get into like a chick that like is manipulating, you know, and using her womb to like, you know, trick you and slip into the, right. and then meanwhile, while she's out here dating you and getting free meals from you, she's a webcam model online. Yeah, you know that's, what I mean? a, that's like, who I thought. I don't feel like, I don't feel like in this particular- We're messing up the word thought. We're using yeah, it for everything. I, I just think in this particular video, I, I think it's a little misconstrued what this whole thought situation is because I feel like it's, it's way too general. Um, you know, like keep it real. I'd also like to know, what's his name, Black Ram? Are you married? When did you get married? That's the question I'd like to know. And as well, if you are, why are you so well informed about thoughts? You know, and, and let me just put one, put one more point, let's finish up the video. Um, there's something where um, people can place the blame on other people for not, for being ignorant to information. Mm -hmm. I think what's happening here is that they're placing the blame on someone who's mm -hmm. trying to figure out life and then they finally figured it out and they put requirements on you. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily describe her like a thought. Now, the thing is, is just like they might have been misinformed on the best way to get them to their goal of marriage, mm -hmm. there's dudes watching this video that are misinformed on how to be um, a dude with um, incredible swag that gets women, mm -hmm. right? So like this dating coaches that's all online that teaches you how to be a man, how to be masculine, right? How to like get women to genuinely like you. So it's like, it goes on both sides of the coin mm -hmm. that the education is just, you know, you, you can lose sight of it, right? Like, yeah. but I think what's damaging is when you prescribe titles to people because titles can do damage. Yeah, They can do damage because it buckets people into a group yeah um that undermines what actually might be happening behind right, right? if you can t if you take it at face value you see thought you move on right but it's like but really start to think about like but what's really attributing to these things right well i feel like i, I feel like this this video is like in leaning in the direction of like slut shame or or uh like female bashing you know there's a whole group of men that um you know, I don't know, they speak in chat rooms and stuff about how angry they are at women because they won't have sex with them. It's called incels. There you go. It exists. Involuntary celibates. Uh, yes! Well, there's a lot of people out here that are very angry at life. Yeah. Um, and they're very angry at women because they're not getting the vagina. But oftentimes what you find is that these dudes are just angry because they're not getting the vagina that they want. And they feel entitled to vagina when they're 80 pounds overweight they live at home with their mom they have no confidence right like so i get it i get what you're saying are you on a slow eyeglass drop we gotta get back into the video we're, we're, are you, <laughs> i agree i agree is with that what the first is that the first time you agree with me in this entire video no. you see listen we can have conversation in this course and not necessarily agree but i love right. being able to challenge each other because like it helps us both think outside the box right right but you have to be open you got to be open to those things i don't i feel like a man right here might be a little close you ready to get back in yeah can I we'll take the time out 24 dudes didn't have to what type of guy does that make you Oh, yes, that makes you her retirement plan. Riding with you. Yeah, you want to walk her down the aisle. Yeah, you want to give her the ring. She wants to wear the white dress. You want to buy the cake. You want to go on the honeymoon. You want to go on that vacation. But are you, the question remains, are you just that break? And I know you don't believe that you may be that break because you say she's mature at 35 and 40. But then you have to think, why is it that so many of them are over those ages and are still single, having had husbands and boyfriends galore 
again, her relationships with the hubby and the boyfriend is just a break from the carousel. See, the thought thinks that she's Michael Jordan coming out of retirement to see how many thought championships she can win. You're just a break from the carousel. She will seek to get back on. So again, the question, is she on break with you? Have you or are you planning to wife her up? Is she the one, Baba? Will you be the first man to do what has never been done in all of human history? Will you be the first man to turn a into a housewife? Think about it. The average succubus has about 44 bodies, moderately speaking, but many have many more. But even if it's 10, 15, 20, or 30, is that your wife? Now, there can be exceptions if she's truly, truly repentant and sorrowful. But how often is that? Remember, she wants you to be the rest haven. She wants you to be the brick from the carousel so that she can go back to riding. So what are you doing? What are you doing wifing her up? Are you trying to put together broken pieces? Sometimes things are just better left to go in the trash. Like the video? Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification. All right, I think he's finished up. Um, any last comments? Wow. That's the first one. Wow. Uh, I, I was I was trying to stick with him on this one because I had an idea of what this video was going to be about as far as the thought retirement plan is. I mean, there's reality shows dedicated to it. I think we all know or we have an idea of what that thought retirement plan is, right? And what he described was entirely different than what I expected him to describe. Like, I don't think that, I don't think that he was referring to a thought. I think that what he was saying was very general. And um, it, it, I can't imagine that the guy who's making this video is married. I also can't imagine that the guy that's making this video is under 24. I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark. So there are some, some points that he's making um, several points that he's making that, like, like I was saying, it's not, it, it seems counterintuitive. Like, if you're marrying a woman at 35, wouldn't you at least be 30 something or older? So, uh, I just, I mean, I personally take it as an insult. There are some things that he said in here that, that are like insulting to me as a woman that is 34 years old and uh, I've never been married. I am a single mother. So it, it's enlightening to know that there are people out there that think like this, but as well, this is obviously not the type of guy that I would go for because it seems like there's a lot more to this than, actually, I think he actually laid it out there because it seemed like he's being very specific about maybe an individual and he's had this one chick's face on here the whole time. And I just, I wish I could ask him personal questions like, okay, so, um, so let's say that there was a woman, let's say that this chick was in this video, uh, she, she did all of those things. She had sex with more than four people in 36, or I'm sorry, 18 years or 20 years, had sex with more, more than four people in 20 years. And there's like this huge range because he says 44 bodies, but he said if she's had sex with more than four people. So it's like, okay, that's, that's conflicting. And you're saying uh you might want to wife her up but there are some things that are better left in the trash well there's a huge range between somebody that you should really not fuck with and somebody that you would actually consider marrying there is such a huge range there it just doesn't seem like it's a very informative point i don't think his i don't i don't think that uh he's making any fucking sense in a lot of way a lot of different ways actually period all right period I, 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 you know, this is my first time hearing of him. Maybe if he watches this video, reach out to me, brother. I'd appreciate the outreach. Um, 
but I don't know his situation. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he knows his girl. I don't know. It's literally, literally the first time I've seen it, so I can't provide you with any of that information. Yeah, because he might have a suit on his hands if this chick sees this video and her face is the one that's on the if, entire if, time. If, if, if I was to guess, he has an account to a stock photo account, and he just got a stock photo of a black woman in a marriage thing and put it on his thing. That's what I would guess, where he just Googled <laughs> um, uh, black woman marriage and put that photo on. Or he was like, Samantha from the eighth grade, what's she doing right now? Oh, I got you. You think you're supposed to be married? You for supposed to be forever a hoe. You don't deserve no kind of love. You just stay your ass on that dick carousel. That's him. So you think he's mad and upset? I think that there's definitely some animosity there. I think because of the, the standards that he said, it's, it's like, it's not realistic. Some of the terms and things that he said, like we all know what that thought is. We know we know the thought. We also have a general idea of what this thought retirement plan is. And I just feel like he it sounded like he was describing somebody who was trying to turn their life around with you. And you're supposed to be like, okay, have you you're supposed to run through these certain questions that would quantify whether this person would be would qualify to be with you and it's like you have to look way deeper you gotta look way deeper than than the the stuff that he's saying here i mean it's like it's very shallow let me, let me ask you a question yeah. um you know how can i identify a thought and if my goal is marriage how can i identify a thought and know what are the things that she's showing me that i should move away um I think that a thought is a manipulator. Mm. Period. Straight up. I think that that's that would be the fir your first cue is someone who is a manipulative person. Um, that that's not the type of person that you want to deal with. That's not the type of person you want in your life. And the thing is, uh, those people who are career thoughts, men and women, they're very good at it. They're very they're very you know they're very sly. They they will target you. Like, like he's saying, resources. you will be, now there are some things that he's saying that, that is accurate, that you, that you will be targeted by someone who has these intentions. Um, I just think that the general pool that he was describing is not true. But to, to continue on with the question, um, some things that you can look for are, um, you know, what are her goals? If her goals and if she if she don't really have nothing going on in her life, I think if you start dating someone, you start seeing somebody and you notice that they really just cling to everything that you do, whether they're a thought or not, that's concerning because they don't have a personal life, you know, mm -hmm. and so everything, all of my actions are based on what you do. You know, I'm I want to go. Are you going out? Well, I want to go out with you. It's like you don't have any friends. That's a sign. You don't have any friends. She's a you loser. You don't have any female friends. That is true. But if, if she's you got, ain't got male friends, you you if you only have male friends, you know, and if you you only have male friends that you've had sex with, is that? I mean, if you got like well, you know, a couple, that's eh, whatever. But if it's like your whole social network are exes and fuck buddies you're a thought boom bam that's the that's the number one all right i'm gonna put that in my toolkit i'm a i'm gonna I'm a use that one all right all right yeah all right so listen felicia this is the reason why i love doing videos like this is because you get people from different perspectives that watch content and we can have discourse and dialogue in a way to try to bubble up why we're uh, why we're hearing this type of information and what we can do to further push the culture forward so i appreciate your thoughts i appreciate your opinions and i appreciate your feedback all right thank you man did you have fun today i did have fun and i drank some hennessy listen this honey black is delicious yes. listen it's beautiful outside we gotta go outside and hang out yeah i gotta go i'm gonna go ride a scooter you gonna ride a scooter yeah man i'm gonna go get my scooter on you may ride a scooter as well you know questions comments concerns y'all already know what to do i'm gonna have to make this into two parts by the way this is too long until next time you two pardon me <laughs>